Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew and we are reviewing Shopify apps in this video. So did you know you can create a shopping Android or a shopping iOS app without writing a single line of code? I bet you didn't know that. So mobile app builder by Flowball Apps promises to help out with that. And it's just not an ordinary app as we saw in the other one. So it's not an ordinary app builder, uh, but we'll speak about that a little bit later in this video. So let's start with the integration. What does this app integrate with? Well, it integrates with Yotpo, with LimeSpot, with Search Merchandise, Clavio, Push Owl, which we reviewed, Bolt product options, we should really start reviewing the Bolt family, Langlify a local delivery, Variant Image Automator, Variant Options, Swatch King, Recharge, Loyalty Line, which we reviewed, a Smile.io, which we reviewed, Swell, a LimeSmart Personalizer, and Instant Search Plus. Wow, that's a good list. Okay, so the list of integrations is quite frankly pretty awesome, but how much would all of this cost you? Well, the cheapest plan will cost you a whole $99 a month. And with this plan, you basically get all of this right here. So the native iOS and Android apps, the real-time auto store sync, 50 SKUs, flexible app layouts, and 0% transaction charges, which is pretty interesting. Now you also have the power plan, right? The power plan will cost you $2.99 a month and you have everything in the starter plan plus all of these features here. I won't sell them out because I'm trying to keep this video quite short. All right, and then you have the most expensive plan at $5.99 a month, and then you have basically everything that the previous plan covered. What's important here is that the 25 plus integrations are actually only available in this plan, and you got some AI recommendations and stuff like that. Well, so that kind of might be a deal breaker for you, but if you just started on Shopify and you're not earning a substantial income from it, is having an app really worth it for you? Well, that kind of depends. One of the reasons you would possibly need an app is, for example, branding. I mean, if your budget is allowing it to take one step ahead and kind of be different from the, um, the, the other people out there, like wearing glasses and a tie maybe, then that might be an, an advantage, especially in a saturated market. Okay, but does Plobal app have any competitors? Well, yes, of course they do. Every app has competitors. The mobile app builder by Jcurve, which the cheapest plan will cost you about $39. Then you have Shopney, the mobile app for $79, then you have the mobile app builder, exactly for Fajoro for $99, and then you have Tapcart mobile app for also $99. We haven't reviewed any of those before, so sorry about that, can't really look at that. Okay, but the last thing before we go to the walkthrough is, you guessed it, the reviews. All right, so with the reviews, we have a 4.7 out of five stars based on 336 reviews. And here is the breakdown of all of these reviews right behind my little my little piggy there. So I'm gonna put the breakdown here. You can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, reviews can mean anything and nothing. So let's see what one star reviews kind of look like. Again, we do this with all of the apps. And just to kind of give you a feel, maybe this app is not right for you for a specific reason that you see in the one star reviews. But again, there's always people that are not happy so let's just overlay them and get it done with all right awesome now let's what 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 what, what, what will the app look like well let's check it out in the preview let's do it right now the app is installed and we are on the app dashboard. Now, if you wouldn't mind just doing a quick subscribe, my goal is to transfer everything I know about Shopify to my subscribers. That's about eight years of Shopify expert knowledge. It would mean a lot. So thanks for subscribing if you're getting value out of this. Now we can go back to the app dashboard. The dashboard looks nice. Not too many buttons or too confusing for the users, which I like because I'm a simple man. Uh, we are on the preview window. And right now this is the starting point, but the new improved app dashboard is coming out soon apparently so you will get some sort of start guide or tutorial and i like that i like that a lot so let's customize our app first click on the first button from the sidebar and we are on the drag and drop customizer oh i love these uh, in this section you will design the look and feel of your mobile app cool so the first step in the app customizer is the home screen design. Plowball allows you to create multiple home screens. For example, if you are selling apparel, you can create one page for women and one page for men and another one for kids. It's pretty smart. 
On the far right, you can find the list of available elements that you can add to your home screen. You can choose from banners, countdown timers, galleries, collections, product lists, product recommendations, etc. etc. Each design card will give you the opportunity to add multiple options, products, collections, URLs, or no link. I mean, this is a pretty good page builder. Let's let's say it like this. One of the things we really like is the dynamic shelf. When you see it like this, it doesn't look so special, but it's actually really cool. So stick with me here. This design block is fully customizable. You can reshape it, split it into multiple parts, add columns, basically make it look however you want. If you ever played with Lego, well, this is kind of the same thing. And next in line is categories. Here you can choose from the old and new categories. Old category layout is basically your Shopify navigation and the new one is much more uh, pretty. And we can build it right here in the app. You can choose to add collection products and URL. You can play with additional settings and countless child categories, which are like subcategories. For example, maybe you again want to split it by gender and after that type the goods you are selling. Just drag and drop it until you are satisfied with the design. You can change the colors, the shape of the image and show or hide images, it's just really up to you. One of the things you can do with this app is that you can actually make some products or collections available ex exclusively in the app. More branding options are available in the Customize Your Menu section. You can change the header color, the menu layout for iOS, the menu layout for Android users, because both of them are kind of not like the, the menu is usually in different places for iOS and, and Android. Uh, the menu icons, the card badge color, the menu icons color, and the feature label. And that's kind of the text that appears at the top of the page, depending on the page you're on. And okay, this is gonna come as a huge surprise, but in the logo section, you can, as you might have guessed, add your logo. But also you can change the name of your app, change the top bar settings, and you can add a splash screen. And you know, that's that screen that like the loading screen when you open the page. Okay, it's time for the pages. Most of the time people have the misconception that this mobile app just replicates your store. But you should see this app as it really is, a completely new sales channel. So most of the traffic on e-commerce stores is coming from mobile, but the conversion rate is much smaller than on the desktop. This mobile app is intended to improve the mobile conversion rate and Plobal allows you to show or hide certain pages from your app. So for example, you want your customers to be able to read terms and conditions about a page, but you don't want them to distract them from buying with, for example, your blog. Next in line is the advanced settings. In this section, you can add terms of services and privacy policy, Shopify products recommendation, autocomplete address on customer address form and apply only discount. With most of the apps, the app only discount is not really app only since you can use it on the website too but with Pobel you can limit the discount codes so customer can only use it in the app which is quite smart. You can further customize your app by changing the button colors and fonts and one of the interesting features of this app is the social login. If your customers are not comfortable with providing their email they can log in with Facebook account let's say. In case you are a big global brand, you can also enable multi-currency and multi-language. And there are some self-explanatory functionalities that you can also add to your app right here. Now, let's speak about push notifications. Plobal Mobile App Builder has its own push notification section. Here you can create, schedule, and send push notifications directly from the app. We mentioned before that their app builder is playing nice with PushAll and PushAll allows you to send web push notifications to the screen of your customers. I really like these PushAll girls. But the main logic behind integrating PushAll with this app is that PushAll is intended for web and push notification from Plobal app is intended for, uh, you guessed it, mobile. These two apps are actually working pretty seamlessly together. So in case you have a big discount campaign, you would like to cover both of these audience having this integration kind of makes sense. And if you're a data geek, kind of like uh, like I am, then the analytics section from Plobal will amaze you. In the basic section, you will get insights into all of the important metrics. But in case you want to dig deeper into the numbers, which we highly suggest you do, you can get access to the advanced analytics section. Uh, this option will take you to the Clever Tab platform. 
Actually, CleverTap is a powerful, scalable marketing platform with all of the tools you need to build a lasting customer relationship. It provides you with behavioral analytics, messaging channels, product experiences, lifecycle optimizations, campaign optimization, orchestration, segmentation, and individualization. You can truly connect with your customers and create campaigns based on real data. Okay, so on mobile, it is time to test this app and see how it really looks. You can preview the iOS version of your app in the App Builder, but if you want to check how your app looks on Android devices, the process is a little bit complicated. We will link them in the description below. Then you download the app and enter the unique preview code that you can find in the App Builder. And here is our shopping app. And it's lightning fast, obviously, and it, it looks quite good. And everything is working properly, and frankly, it feels luxurious. Great job, Global. Okay, but what about that customer support? Well, it's available via live chat, but the app is so documented that you probably will find the answer if you just check their documentation in their help center. But let's see how fast their chat is actually, if you wanna to talk to an agent. Um, here it says that they usually respond in a few hours, which isn't bad, so let's see how fast we can actually get that answer. The message is sent and let's start the stopwatch. 10 minutes later, we got the answer and the problem is solved. And frankly, they were very, very polite. All right, guys, that is it for the review of this first mobile app builder. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out our other reviews. Make sure to test your store at testmystorespeed.com and subscribe to the channel because there's a whole bunch of things about Shopify and entrepreneurship in general. I don't always wear my green tie. I don't always have my glasses, so don't worry. And see you in the next video. Ciao.